It was time to head inland for a little fishing and evening kayaking, so we headed west down Newman Street in East Tawas for about three miles, where we arrived at the DNR launch ramp. It's located on the south shore of the lake off Rainbow Drive. You know what? Lake Heron is not the only place to have fun on the water. We're out just a few miles outside of town at what's called Tawas Lake. It's a smaller lake. It's weedy, looks like a good spot for kayaks and canoes and maybe some small boats. But we're going to find out for sure because we're going out there to explore. Right now we got to get these kayaks off, so we'll see you on the water. Well, we've got all our equipment ready. Uh, kayaks are laid out and we're just now ready to take off, so come on along. We're going to have some fun. Filled with excitement, we wanted to get into the lake. But before we went out, Denny and I double-checked our gear, put on our water shoes, and made sure we had warmer clothes for later in our dry bag. It was a beautiful evening, so quiet that the only sounds you heard were the birds and the fish jumping. We got out on the lake here. Uh, it's a little bit bigger lake than what I expected. There's only one shoreline that has anything on it, a few houses, and everything else is just forest and swamp and nobody around. We'll head on down the lake here. We were told that Tawas Lake was one of the area's hot spots for panfish and pike fishing. With a mix of ducks, geese, and swans, with an occasional bald eagle sighting thrown in, Tawas Lake is very popular among local bird and wildlife enthusiasts as well. As we moved further into the lake, a slight chop developed on the water, so I decided to head back into the reeds that had canals cut through it. So one of the great things about uh, being in a kayak and coming out to an area like this to explore we were going along through these reeds, uh, and it looked just like a thick bed of them. You couldn't even see into it. We were working our way along the shoreline where it was still fairly clear. And now uh, all of a sudden I seen this channel that uh, went right into the reeds. So we said, heck, let's go in. Let's take a look. Pretty wild in here. It was just down the way. A nice fish just jumped out of the water. Um, it's still pretty shallow back in here, but uh, evidently it is holding some fish and it's a lot of fun just to sneak on through these reeds. You never know what you're going to see. All the way along, fish were jumping and swimming under the boat. Well, until I threw a lure and then it was back to silence. Oh well, it sure was nice being out here. Another gem close to home. I did. That was a lot of fun out in the kayaks, and I think the nice thing is it doesn't matter whether you have experience or no experience, you can go out here along the shoreline, you can get in and out almost any place that you want to. The beach is so nice along here.